following on from the last video I did um, where I was ta I was going over Raw, um, we were next up with Kofi versus Orton. I have a big gripe with this match. I have a big gripe with this match, and it has nothing to do with the ring work because the ring work was solid. It was fine. Um, it was a solid match, and I have no definitely have no problem with um, with DBRC and Rhodes um, being at ringside, um, putting Orton on the spot. It allows for continuity from what happened last week when Orton did the same thing, and it definitely. Um, attempts to heal the impression lately that WWE are working work week to week which that impression has been there for a good reason but I have a big gripe this match needed a dirty finish this match needed a dirty finish I feel very strongly this match needed a dirty finish because it would just make the tensions within Legacy so much stronger so much stronger um, because both DBS and Rhodes went over clean last week if Orton had won via dirty tactics, cheating, whatever it took to win and keep his spot within Legacy this week, you know, it, I just think the tensions within Legacy would have been a lot more powerful that way because Orton had to resort to drastic measures to um, avoid a backlash from DBS, DBRC and Rhodes. I think that would have just worked so much better than Orton going over clean again. It's not so much what it does to Kofi because Kofi's looking look strong again so I think he'll be okay but um, above all else this needed a dirty finish it needed a dirty finish um, it would have just made the tension within, within Legacy if they are going to continue this um, because they have been teasing it every time we have something like this they just tease it and then they move on um, this might be the actual time they go for it with um, with DBRC maybe DBRC and Rhodes are gonna break away might be just DBRC, we don't know, but if this is going to be the time to do it, then they needed, they. this would have been a lot better if Orton had won with a dirty finish. I just really believe that. The ending segment, Brett Vince, it did what it set out to do. It was uh, very fun, another segment full of nostalgic value of seeing Bret Hart and Vince McMahon in the same ring. Who would have thought it? Very, very good. Um... Brett had a, has a reason now to come back for more. Um, we definitely, we are definitely respected to the point where everyone knows that Brett is going to be around for longer. Because I think that most fans are smart enough to have looked this up and realized, okay, this is not a one-time thing. Brett's coming back, so don't try and make it look like um, this is a one-time thing, which would have been the impression if um, Brett had had come out of this looking like on top of the world. That would have been the impression that this is a one-time guest host job. He's not going to be seen again. Um, that's the impression that they would have given off when most fans are semi-smart enough to know that this is not going to be um, a one-night thing. So nice to have that sort of respect shown. And I'm um, definitely a good ending to Raw. Um, they didn't try to do too much stuff in one night, which shows that they are going to spread this out, which... From what I hear of the TNA show, they did not do. They did not spread things out. They did everything they could in one show, which um, which is pretty much what WCW um, looked to have done. Like I, of course, again, not not a fan until 2000. I cannot speak for the um, the entire existence of WCW, but it's, that seemed like a co from what even Bischoff admitted this in his book that they over delivered for two two and a half years until finally they become stale. Is that what they're going to do with TNA? It looks like that. That's what the first show looks like. But again, this this this, um, this impact show is still downloading. I am going to um, finish this download, watch the show, and then I will come in with my thoughts on that show and how I think it came off. And um, then the Ring of Honor video that I wanted to do, I still have that um, on the plans. Um, hopefully, do that. Um, before the end of the week um, and um, following on to that I want to um, look at WWE DVDs and which ones we would like to see because um, I think there are a few that are um, that are overdue and I think there are some that would be good ideas for the future but um, that on, those are other videos from other times for now this has been um, this week the first Raw of 2010 um, a pretty important Raw and I think it came off very well and um, soon I'll be going in with some impact thoughts. So um, 
Um, I'm sure in a few hours we will have um, raw and impact ratings, um, which we are all looking forward to. So by the time the um, the impact um, review goes up, it might uh, be coupled in with some thoughts on the ratings. But for now, I'm out. Goodbye.